hot hits. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's very, it's very 90s. 90s yeah, put energy. your headphones on. You haven't podcasted in so long, you forgot. Can I not? No, you oh, need to like the headphones. Huh? You girls don't like the headphones. Can you give me my white claw? I'm a crippling alcoholic. Okay, yeah. You requested a nice white giant white claw. Okay. And then I also got you this. Vue vue cli. Whatever the hell it's called. I don't drink. Vuv. But I know you're just the right amount of trashy, but classy, baby. Honestly, this is so on brand. I actually love this. I told Jeff to surprise me, and you did good. I actually love this. Oh, I got one more surprise for you. And for you too, Steven. I just said incest. I just said incest. It's all right. Daddy, can you open this, please? Absolutely. I have my favorite shit about this show, for real. Very fancy. The sound effects. Give us a nice song. Daddy! Oh my god, well, the fact that I'm saved on this soundboard is so concerning. Here's yeah. one more gift for you. Oh. Look at this. I know it's not much. We can't give you a lot of money right off the bat because we just started. No, I love these. Set for life. And I need that so bad. I need to stop selling my nudes. <laughs> you win this, you'll never come back to the show. Wait, I love that. Steven, I can't even deal. I didn't forget about you over here. Look at this baby. Oh, a... You win $20 million oh, on this. this. Set for life. Love a good scratch off. Thank $30. you, Jeff. $30. $30. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> good. I want you out of here. I want you to have 20 mil to move to an island and I never have to see you again. The thing about this show is I never know when we're started. Neither do I. I think we started already, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really quality content for the people. Start scratching fun. that off. Let's see if you won. And we you know, we might even have to do a show. This is so much work. You want me to do this right now? Let's scratch it off. I'll, I'll check my notes and get set up for today because we're going to trash talk a lot of people. I'm ready. Um, we're gonna be the new frenemies, basically. I'm really, really down. Do you are you down to talk crap on people? Yeah. Do you think Trisha and Ethan ever fucked though? Do I think they ever fucked? Yeah. I don't know. He seems like the type of guy to not cheat on his wife. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're right. I don't know. See, I, we start talking crap, this and I'm already I'm already nervous. Oh, you think you won? No, this is just a lot of work. <laughs> oh, a lot of work. You're like 20 mil. Ah. I'm making a mil a month on only. How much are you making on OnlyFans monthly? Are you allowed to say? It depends, though. I mean, there's definitely been some million dollar months. I'm good with uh, the high hundred thousands as well. It depends on how much work I put in. I have two OnlyFans. God two. Damn. I have a show on OnlyFans called Tana Gone Wild. Uh -huh. And then, which we can totally put our sex tape on whenever you're ready. Have you done a sex tape? I have not done a sex tape. Not yet. The other day, though, I was watching sex tapes I made, and I was like, I'm not doing the public justice. Like, they, they need this. I know they need it, you know? How, how much money do you think a uh, sex tape between both of you would generate? Eight to ten million dollars. You know what? I got a bone to pick with you because you keep coming on here saying, "Ooh, daddy, that big horse cock. Let me have that big horse cock." <laughs> you and know now, what's funny is I don't think I've ever said that on here. I've and just said you've that never to even you seen life. my dick. So now you're spreading this, these that. expectations out there that I got to live up to when I go out there in the real world. And Didn't they're like, happen, "Oh, I heard what Tana said. I heard. I know. I want. I want to know what Tana's talking about." And I'm like, "Well, well, all right, listen." Didn't you know, that happen with Pete and Ariana where she would always say his dick was big and then he went on and he did a set and he was like, she did that to set me up for life. So like everyone's disappointed. Every is time that what you're doing to me? I, I, I don't get it. No, no, I was just really just trying to be super kind. And because just, this really happened to me. And I, 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 I was in a strip club. This is before, this is the old me. This was like five months ago. It's been so long <laughs> since we've been together. But I mean, whatever, say what you want. <laughs> I like to think of big horse cock as just a kind sentiment. It's almost like my sweet friend. So you say that to everybody? No, and I knew you were going to fucking say that. I don't even know why I said that. Well, you were dating my neighbor here oh my after God. we did the podcast. He calls me today and he's like, so you're so fucking my neighbor. You're I so should have said dating. I should have been more appropriate. To be fair, I was kind of just fucking your neighbor. You were fucking him. Um, and he looks, he kind of resembles me. And <laughs> You if you were like... I'm not. <laughs> me if I was what? No, go for it. This is this is it. This is what we do. No, I'm not gonna. Be, I'm not gonna be. We're mean. not gonna have a show if we're just nice on here. We... Oh, no, 100. percent I'll be mean. I'll Let's be see awful. if you won 30 million. Can you get one of your 83 employees to scratch? You want me to have an employee scratch our gift? Steven, did you win? How you doing over there? How'd you do? I'm teasing. I won 50 dollars. You won $50? Did you actually so far. $50? I, yeah. I get 60% of that. How do you know that? No, it's a complicated one, for sure. It was, this was definitely like a $10 one, huh? No, that was 30 bucks for that. I got the most expensive one. I want you to win big. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? Do you gamble here? still? No, this was the first time. And I was actually hesitant before buying it. I was like, I'm not gambling. This I'm giving it to you. This is the gateway drug to the roulette table. And well, I got it for you. Exam. Thank you so much. You don't that. gamble much, right? Coming from Vegas, you grew up out there. You can't yeah. gamble if you live in Vegas, right? Um, 
you definitely can. When I go there, I go crazy. But the last time I left is the first time I left up in a while. So it's now I'm back. I'm gambling. I'm back on the wagon. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's How go. much you win last time? I get like 400 bucks, but that's, that's still up. That's still up. Like to leave and not be like I lost a lot of money is a good feeling for sure. Yeah. Talk to me about your love life. You were just dating my ex-girlfriend's close friend. Oh, you dated Bella? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys were full blown. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. She just actually is, Um, she was engaged and she just called it off. And I'm like, really debating, should I slide in, you know? So would you call yourself bisexual? Um, I'm pansexual. So actually. you like everything? Everything. It's not even shocking for me to like just anything and everything. <laughs> anything human, right? <laughs> no, I was. I walked in. I was super trying to fuck your dog, bro. <laughs> like, like, anything human, I would say that. Anything human and of age. That would finish um, Nerf off for sure. Oh my! Oh, not the dog noise. That's gross. I would say that would finish Nerf off for sure. We're in the fucking elevator on the way up here, and Jeff's just planning his dog funeral, telling me what to wear and shit to it. I was like, all right. Yeah. I missed you too, Jeffy. <laughs> this is what I wanted to get into. I know you're a big fan of Britney. I love Britney. And not even just a fan, like an advocate for people to have life. Like I think conservatorship yeah, is Yeah, but crazy. did you see what's going on now? She had a wedding and yeah. her ex crashed it and said, she's my wife. She's the only wife. I'm the only husband she'll ever have. Or said, Pull up the video. Hot take for me is that it sucks. Let her fucking live. Like, God, this girl can't even just like have a wedding that goes over. But if that was me personally, kind of hot. You know what I mean? You would, like, you would like that? Get like I'm getting... Oh, <laughs> that is so toxic. One of your exes showed up to if sabotage it was one your... I, if it was one I liked. You know what I mean? If it was one that I like... Obviously, I would still marry the person I'm marrying, but I'd be like... But I don't... Okay, not I need to stop. One. I'm romanticizing things that should not be romanticized. No, not if you plan your biggest day of your life and, and you want everything to go perfect and then you have some maniac that you... I know. I think that my problem is that I never really have the desire for things to go perfect. He live streamed it? Yeah. yeah. On Instagram. Yeah. That's that's a cloud chasing move. For sure. This is like me live streaming drunk on like a Friday night. How did he get this far in? He probably remembers her passwords. And they were married like 20 years ago, bro. That's what's crazy to me is it's like, okay, you're just weird. You're just a weird fucking star. Damn, this is me. sketch. Hey, where's Brittany at? Hey, tell me the truth. Where's Brittany at? You think he's fucked up? You think huh? he's like fucked up? No. He sounds hey, fucked Brittany, up, yeah. No, get out. Oh, damn, they pulled. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. Bro, they're going to shoot you. Please don't put your hands on me. You have to leave. And I'm friends with her hey, new Brittany, husband. Right? You are? What is well, it? Sam? Is this, is it? Sam something. Yeah. Big guy. How'd you meet him? We did a. We used to be sponsored by a so supplement a company. Scoop, <laughs> <laughs> we would promote. I did hear that builds the best friendships. <laughs> Same sponsor. Uh, look at that. Who are you? Michael. Michael, that's Michael, guys. It's Jason. First husband. Here to crash it. Oh, he legit crashed. He, no, he's a tweak, oh, though. Jason Alexander, uh, Brittany invited me here. Brittany Spears invited me here. She's my first wife, my only wife. I'm her first husband. I'm here to crash the wedding because nobody's here but Sam. So where the fuck's the family and where's the there's Kate? I mean, that's uh -uh. contradicting right there. If you said, Kate, come yeah. here, Kate. Ooh. Damn. Okay, honestly, all jokes aside, that's some <laughs> that's some tweaker <laughs> shit. That is awful. Toxic. That is <laughs> definitely I feel like by the sound of his voice he was fucked up too. Oh yeah, is, big time. Which is wild. That's a wild fucking thing to do. You have to be like bat shit. What the fuck do you expect to happen there? You know? It's gonna be you at like Dobrik's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm not I don't want him back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> or he's with a, a woman that I, I love or yeah. he ends up dating my ex yeah ooh, i could see that or i end up dating liza and we're getting married that's see that's the toxicity level i was trying to reach on yeah. this episode because see how he showed I up just, with the camera filming yeah that would be day <laughs> he'd be like fuck this she's my wife i love her I just, I can, damn like, is, should that be out. your next move maybe that would be <laughs> fucked up Liza's, uh, Liza's a sweet girl, but I don't well, think we're a good match. Isn't she uh, a lesbian now? Is she lesbian now? I think so. That's dope. Damn. Suddenly, I'm sliding. Blows. 
<laughs> <laughs> it's Pride Month. I'm trying to fuck Liza Koshy. No, clip that. No one clip that. That was like the worst sentence ever come out of my mouth. Come out. Fuck. I just got ass injections. Did you? And they hurt so bad right now. Really? I couldn't sit for two days. We were just talking about that last episode. How we don't like the the like the fake tits in the ass, but you got injections fake only. Tits in the ass. The implant. Yeah, it makes your own butt grow. It's like a it's like a vitamin. <laughs> okay. But like not. But like kind of. So that doesn't get in the way if you're like doing traditional workouts to also grow your butt and muscles and stuff no it doesn't get, no it makes it it actually like amplifies it if you work out that's why today i was doing like stuff you're doing squats today no just like an incline stairmaster vibe but like you know so is this new this new gym lifestyle no i go to the gym i try to go like twice a week to yeah. equinox but i also go for clout sean mendez was just there i've seen sean like, mendez there a few times kinda, that's like his spot you know what i mean so i'm like i'm like on the elliptical so, yeah. equinox is just like a rich people gym i keep hearing it's about so it. dumb it's so dumb the, i've seen the How rock much is it a month? there i've seen kevin like hart there. a month it's 245 dollars a month oh it's not like it's like uh, 300 I mean, if you want the membership to all of them that's tana yeah. right no there. that's implants that's crazy yeah, implants what did you, is like is it, where they did put you get like a shot. Yeah, it's like a bunch of shots, but it's crazy. The needles like this big, like the video of it. I, it's it's really oh, scary. Damn, it's really scary. No, I couldn't walk for two days. I was like squatting to pee, like hovering over. the Does Kim Kardashian have that? I'm not here to confirm or deny. And you know, when I talk about the Kardashians, bad things happen to me, not because of them, but because of. Uh, <laughs> the internet you like, i think oh, i've, yeah, I've, I've right. given myself a cease and desist for them you know what i mean like just shut the fuck up Dana. yeah stop talking about these it's people. a lose lose when you it, talk about it them. is super you know, lose, I, lose. I, 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 don't, I don't get it you know <sighs> pete's my number one celebrity crush pete davidson number one i'm so like you know, what is I it can't. what is it i don't get it i love dying and funny you look uh, like you're dying and you're funny you're my soulmate damn you know i kind of got mean? that going on huh oh, are you pitching uh, yourself to I'm me right now me this month what was i gonna say to you you had you were on a roll before about this fitness journey i don't know I, I feel like i am the type of person who if i'm like going through it at all like i am more i would lean towards like dark things or vices to kind of work that out but i've definitely gotten in a pattern now to kind of do things like the gym if i'm going through it like run off my feelings or whatever oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you still smoking that uh Oh yeah. Oh, exactly. Can I be honest with you though? It is the time. I hope the next time I see you, I can tell you I'm on like a quitting journey. Yeah. I need to quit. When oh. I even hear videos of my like old voice, like my voice before like <coughs> smoking a lot of weed and like smoking <laughs> this, the cough mid sentence was just so on brand. Um, I sound like a different person. <coughs> and I actually have like popcorn lung, and, like emphysema at this point. Really? Like, I need to stop. Ooh. I'm so addicted. Hot. This I'm a slave to this shit. This is the only thing I'm loyal to. Do you well, smoke it like when you first wake up? First thing. It's a first. I can't even open my eyes. Yes. I can't even. Way. I can't even open my. I know we're like, <laughs> but like we're literally yeah, gonna, I'm die. gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so awful. I can't. I really want to stop. Honestly, at this point, I think cigarettes are better because at least you would have to go outside, have fire involved, smoke. You know, one hundred percent. You're not gonna do all that shit when you just roll over and like. One hundred percent. Go back to bed. For and a once you bit. learn how to like vape and no one sees it, I'm like on an airplane and like 28B like ripping this shit. You know, it's like oh, I need we did to... that. We did that with a weed pen. That one. Oh, we did. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my god, we were miserable on that flight home. Well, that fucking or weed, I was, the I weed was pen that you had was insanely strong. I've, I've been smoking weed on and off for fifteen years, and that one hit that I took of your pen, I was on a different planet. I've never been so paranoid. When I got off, I like couldn't even <laughs> say goodbye to you. <laughs> I know you really didn't. You were like, bye, Tana. Like, just like ran away. Like, you didn't even make eye contact. You smoked um, that shit all the I, time? Well, at that time, I was like a pretty big stoner. Like, so your I tolerance smoked. was up there. Oh, so up. Like, oh my God, I was just eating like edibles all day. Like, nothing affected me. Now I'm like a little pussy. I stopped smoking weed pretty much. Yeah. So, but I, I traded that for this habit. So it's not really. Well, that's. It's worse, actually. Yeah, at least you get a little high from. The yeah. weed, but yeah, when I smoked that, I think I was trying to hide it because yes, yeah, so you like, like held the flight it attendant in. was walking by, so I was like, and that gets you way more high, way more high. So one hit, I was done. Yeah, I was freaking out. I thought, you know, I, I'm not scared of heights. I got I'm skydive certified. I jumped out of a plane 30 times by myself. Yeah, but I'm like scared the plane's gonna crash and shit. 100. percent Like that's how I get now when I get high. I get super paranoid. I'm like my whole life's over. I'm gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Everything's bad. Like I freak out. That's why I don't smoke anymore. Yeah. What, what was your technique when you hit it on the plane? Mine's you stick it. Under I go your, under the shirt, under the yeah. Shirt and then put your face in it. Yeah. Like I'm just this. an arrogant piece of shit. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you just do it out in the open. <laughs> well, she's in first class, Stephen. 
in all fairness, you know. Can I be honest yeah. with you? We're I in have the been, back. I've been so humble lately. My last like four flights, economy, 34C. Thank you so much. But uh, these are to where? To Vegas? Uh, a little 30 No, minute? I just flew to Costa Rica economy and it was the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. No, oh, it's yeah? the opposite of that noise, seriously. Next flight's a jet. I'm done. But Damn. <laughs> I, had to, I had to humble down. What are you doing with all this money you're making? Investing? Um, Yes. Buying jewelry? Not purses. a lot of jewelry, not a lot of, some purses, maybe some purses. I don't know, just saving it, living, investing a little bit. Um, what do you splurge on? Because you get all your clothes for free. You know what's weird is I, I grew up, my, every one of my life clowns me for this too. I grew up with like not a lot of money. I grew up with like no money. So I'll be at the grocery store and I'll be like $7 for chicken? Fuck this. And then the next day I'm like 50K for a jet? Let's go. Like my like sense of- The value of a dollar like, is all fucked. It's so all... fucked up. Like the normal things is like I'm very normal about, but then I'll have the occasional splurges. It's my birthday this month. So I'm planning a bunch of- What are you turning, 23? 24. 24? Wow. I feel 85. But yeah, I do love us together. And it was really funny when I was in a strip club and one of the strippers wanted to give me a dance and she goes- I want to see what Tana was talking about. Swear to God. Big fat horse cock. Swear to God. I swear that's how it happened. Swear to God that was, happened. This was like six months ago. Do, I, I mean, well, what do you, do you feel like you could remotely live up to that? Or do you have like a small day? Big fat horse cock. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I'm it's very pretty, you know? So then if anything, I can just take the narrative. Like my and pussy. And it's got a nice circumcised, like a nice clean circumcision. <sighs> you, you know, it's like a nice haircut. Are you on shitting it. on the uncircumcised community right now? Uh, I'm just glad they cut me when they did and I don't have to do it now. So here's my new narrative, ready? I'm just gonna tell people my pussy's so tight that your dick is like King Kong in comparison. Like I, I think just, guys would love that. I just have a record breaking world's little. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> and that's why you have a big horse cock to me, and then that's beneficial for the both of us, and it'll so do. What, how, what's small to you? How many inches are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know. I don't know. My no, friends you always. Know. You know. My friends clown me for this a lot. Like a year ago, I was fucking this guy, and I was like, "His dick's so big. His dick's so big." And then Brooke fucked him, and she was like, "You're out of your mind. That's like the smallest dick I've ever seen." What's this guy's name? Josh. <laughs> Richards. No. Oh. No. That'd oh be funny God. if we had like a good, a nice fucking so was it like, face I'm to the sorry. name. Like this? Or? I'm sorry. Um, Steven, tell me when to stop. But now I feel so bad. Stop. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me I don't stop. know. This is important for Steven because, you know, he thinks about this stuff a lot. He asks this question probably 10 times a day. Yeah. Same advice you know? from a girl. I feel like like six and a half, seven is like a good dick, right? Okay, there you go. So not. <laughs> that's the, that's, that's the go going. Ahead, that's so average. anything smaller is. No, oh my God, bro! It's and it's so not about the size of your dick. It really isn't. I know people always say that. What but about girth? <laughs> <laughs> serious question. Length or girth? I don't know. Kyle, Both. You should average, be sound biting way back. Uh, like oh. an, an average length and girth, I think would hit. Like that's good. I don't. But I'm not here to discriminate because it's no, fucked no, up. Like if you guys were sitting here being like loose or tight pussy, like that's wrong. So it's like I don't want to be that type of person. Well, we were just clowning on a fake tits in the ass. You've probably fucked an LA girl with ass implants. No, I've never. How do you know? Not good ones. How do you know? Huh? Uh, an implant in a butt cheek? Yeah. You gotta see that. Because even fake tits, you always know. Right? Yeah, I guess you. I, I don't. Ass is a little different to me. I don't know. It's I mean, like boobs, there's plenty of room to put an implant in there. I but ass, it, like you sit on it, it moves, and it's sticking out of the side. So, what else did you and Mike talk about? Mike and I talked about, I should say we're doing a double header podcast today because our oh, initial guest was Tana, but it got pushed and Mike was here hanging out. So we I love when you say it him. got pushed. You're not trying to cancel me here, sweetie. <laughs> Tana, it is tough to get you somewhere on time, but I appreciate you coming anyway. Mike and I talked mostly Jeff about- so nice to me. You can't deal. Am I? You're like you could yeah like and I feel like you're not that nice to people like you come at people's necks for like being not mm -hmm. like that but you know what I mean you're like Taylor Holder canceled I feel like if I canceled you'd be like Tana can't make it she'll be here next week like you're like sweet well I understand I mean, you make millions of dollars a month off your OnlyFans so why would you do anything I wouldn't answer no. any collaboration calls it's not, no because I don't just be like irrelevant and everyone will think I'm like a just like a little yeah you know like i want to do other stuff and i love this i miss like podcasting a lot let's do your show here let's make your show spotify live you want to yeah you know, it's it's audio only we'll get an interchangeable sign and no we'll it's audio it only oh yeah yeah which i love because i can just be so ugly like just imagine me in bed like like looking my worst today's episode is sponsored by roman if you're like me then you definitely want to make sure you're operating at peak performance in the bedroom <laughs> whether you're having trouble rising to the occasion 
keeping it going or you just have a very demanding significant other you can count on roman to help with oh. roman you get a free online evaluation oh and ongoing God. care for erectile dysfunction uh -huh. it's free all from the comfort and privacy of your home there's no need for those awkward doctor Shh. visits and trips to the pharmacy where they yell out your name hey jeff we got your erectile dysfunction medicine and i'm all shy no not anymore it's the future baby yeah. and it comes right to your door in private oh, man. The whole process is straightforward, discreet, and will help you make sure you're performing at your best. Oh. So go to... That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> go to GetRoman.com slash Jeff where you get $15 off your first month of ED treatment plus free two-day shipping. Take advantage of this special discount and get $15 off your first month of treatment. That's GetRoman.com slash Jeff. Get hard with Roman. It's not hard <laughs> <laughs> no way what? oh my god why do i want to britney do that? spears moment right here on the show it looks so freeing it, it feels so freeing <laughs> he didn't even tell I'm me he was it. gonna do this keep going do what i want whenever i want i want to shave your head please. no way steven we're on top of a carpet bro all this hair is gonna get stuck in the carpet oh my god it is it's fine just do what you already As started your dog just like pisses everywhere you'll be fine you already started i've it. never done this i'm scared come here I'm allowing this because it's content and it's kind of funny, but I don't. Yeah. We're just gonna have to no vacuum way, Steven, this all. No way, Steven, you're doing this. Why is he doing this? this? Just go no, no guard, Steven. Go no guard. Go bald if you're gonna do it. No, absolutely not. Make it cool. Oh, then I'll don't. stop. <laughs> oh my God, Jeff, I'm you. I know this is a crazy crossover. You. Can this we do wild. an episode like that where I cut someone's hair? That'd be so fun. Can I cut your hair? Come here. Absolutely. Get over here. For real? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> I need to plan. I need to prepare. Yeah, that's Okay, I'm done. I'm and done. my hair's been fun. good lately. Cause I've been, I've been <laughs> Honestly? Oh, his hair's like in my armpits. I'm about to like show up to a dinner after this with like <laughs> men's hair falling You're off You're going to a me. dinner like that? No, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, <laughs> you were like got a fancy you, dinner. I am on my. I could see your nipples through your Jesus shirt. This is not why, why you dressing like nipples? that. Me, I'm and, like, why are you looking at my nipples? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love a nipply look. Honestly, are you going to like a steakhouse or no? Just like a, a nice little dinner with my friends. Just like something cute and light. Yeah. Like I said, I've been trying to not go out, so I'm trying to just do do cute things on my little Friday night. What's but up with Brooke, your co-host? I love Brooke. She was with Eva Longoria all day today. I think she's thriving far more than me. <laughs> really? Damn. Yeah, she's she's really happy right now. I don't know if I can say this. She's like dating this guy and they're awesome. But I don't know. I love Brooke more than anything. She's yeah. about to come on my birthday trip. We're going to kill it. She's my favorite. We're working on a bunch of new projects. I think that we birthday love. Birthday trip to. Cabo. Ooh, nice. A scary place for sure, right? A Damn. scary place. I'm taking 20 people to Cabo too. And it's just going to be a big fat mess. But I'm stoked. I think I need a little scandal or something to happen. That's sick. So you just pay for all your friends to come out and party? For my birthday, for sure. I love I love the birthday month. Trip and a party can is I, always can fun. I go? You can. Bro, <laughs> you I like this person? hair. Bro, I look like an Amish I, kid. No, I really like this <laughs> oh hair. God, like an onion I really I like this hair. I'm not lying lie. to you. I'm it's into bad. that haircut. No, I'm into that haircut. <laughs> no, I swear. I'm, I would. I'm, you look I'm, like eleven, bro. Oh, no, I'm, yes. I'm, yeah. Ew. You look like you're eleven. 11. There's, there's a boy on TikTok like right 12. now with this haircut, and I yeah, think he's hot. Like, I'm like, like Lawrence. Years, <laughs> I like it. Oh, you guys are meanies. I like it. No, I'm we're not being it. mean. No. It's just like, what do you expect? Jeff, that's, no, you're just fucking beautiful, bro. And to every like, <laughs> you don't get to do that when you're fucking beautiful. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So I can't tell him he just did a stupid thing. You actually should never tell anyone they look bad ever again well you're like too high in the caliber I of his, like i cut his hair it's giving so regina george all he had to, for real i'll, I'll tell you that <laughs> no, you know what no 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 no. you're right and i get that you want to be like the normies you know and like you want to be like the you want to be like the have-nots the people who don't look like you but you look like that so you should be so kind <laughs> i wish i was fatter and and funnier looking sometimes Honestly, me too yeah i think i would i would love you more if you had a dad bod i would be all over things it. things got better for me after the accident you know, I think I needed, to, I, I needed to be humbled. I needed some scars on my face and stuff like that. You, but you know? look the same. Maybe I should take that fucking razor in my head. I should. would love to. Oh, you probably look so weird with a bald head. Because now you look like you look stupider, but you look like more likable. I no, I think you look hot and iconic. Oh, me, me, me? <laughs> or Joe Jeff? What are you talking no, about? you. I think you look so hot and iconic. Thank you. You too. Wow. Well, we're going to fall in love. I know. I know. Oh I'm done with you. I would love that if you two were dating. 
<laughs> Everyone always says that, and then I date their friends, and they're like, "This is the no. worst." Just, I'm just. We were thinking about put. We well, we got in hot water for talking about that show, Love on the Spectrum, on Netflix. <laughs> oh, it's funny because I just talked about that on my Spotify live show, and also got in a little bit of trouble. I mean, if anybody my... should be getting in trouble, it's Netflix for fucking putting that out there and making us talk about. <laughs> yeah, it. one of the girls on the show, though. Do you know she's become really famous on TikTok? I don't know her name, but is she the one that does cartoons, animation? No, she like sings and dances, and she's super cute. The girl that does animation. I love. Maybe she that's was, what you need is someone on the spectrum. Well, I okay, found I have one right here. Let's move on. <laughs> Moving but, on. I don't want to. <laughs> no, there was a, before we move on, there was this one scene <laughs> where she's on a date and it's like a minute into the date and she's like, you're so hot. I love you. And he was that's like. That's me. I love that. That this is This is bad. I <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the cutest thing ever. I cried. I genuinely cried because it was. Oh, it's so... like moving. That's good. That's what I guess I was worried about. Is that the show was kind of like, no I... jokes at people's expense, which would be ass. It's sweet that it's like moving like that. Yeah, no, it's well done. And That's awesome. Yeah, the first impression everybody gets is like, oh, they're making fun of them. Did you see that other show on Netflix called The Ultimatum? No, it's another dating show. Netflix has just gone crazy on the dating shows, but it's um. It's all these couples where they're they're they've been dating for like five years, and then one person wants to get married and the other person doesn't. So they give them this ultimatum: like you're gonna go on this show with me, and if by the end of it we're either getting married or we're breaking up forever. That's dope. And then they make all the other couples like date each other though, and it's it's dark. Like people fuck up their fucking relationships of like six years to like fuck someone in another relationship, and they're all like. Oh my it was, god! It was interesting. It was it really dark. Like you could see that everyone who went on the show was like, "This is gonna help us." I'm giving the ultimatum, and they all got there, and they were like, "Oh, you just want us all to fuck these other couples, and it's like gonna fuck up." It. Like it was dark. Like you could tell people like, "This fucked up my life." And a hell of people who were on it after were posting like, "That's the worst thing I've ever done." Yeah. What do you think of Love Is Blind? I I don't know what that is. Um, what is it? People that are blind. Why do I know dates? everything about the Rolodex of Netflix dating shows? Am I just that desperate? Is for it love blind people I'm... going on dates? No, but that's really funny because you'd be a great candidate. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Yeah, I can just in. us at like catch. I'm like love is blind. <laughs> <laughs> We'd make a great couple if I was blind. No, I know. I was really hoping, honestly, when everything happened, that your vision would just go so you could <laughs> fall in love with me. No. Let's uh, try. Let's try out a, a little speed dating segment right now because I have an idea for a series in the future with Stephen dating. Okay. Let's just say you two are out on a first date right now, and Stephen, that's what you'd be doing. You'd be on your phone texting. Okay, well, I, I, sorry, I was, trying, I was talking to Oscar. First date, you two are set up on a blind date. You're in a speed dating yes. situation, and ready, go. Well, I was not prepared. They asked you questions, the right? <laughs> Where are we at? Are we at a restaurant? You have like to make conversation. In Malibu? We just have to make. Okay, yeah, we're at Nobu Malibu. Hi, we're on a speed date. Let's well, go. Where, where, where? where? No, no, I said we're on a boat in Malibu. Oh, I thought he said we're at the Boo in Malibu. No, um, a boat, what is that? Not a boat, because you can't leave a boat. Um, no, Don't we're, we're it... just at a dinner. We're at any restaurant. We can be at Chili's. It doesn't matter. We're on a speed date. Ready? Go. Olive Garden. Oh, oh. So good. Um, where are you from? Maryland. What about you? Las Vegas. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Um, what why it... did it end? I haven't been in love. I lied. I haven't been in love. <laughs> Sorry, so you're a liar. So have you been in love? So you're a liar. Have I've you been, been in love. love. Do you yes. like what kind of guys are you guys into? Um, toxic ones. Wow, I have a friend but I'm that's toxic. On that. I'm working on that. Yeah, I suggest your friend. Well, <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I'm just saying I have a toxic. Do you guys get the guys with like, with like, like Bubba musculars? Um, no, I love a good dad bod. Skinny. I love skinny and dying. I love Ta everything. I have tattoos. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. What do you have? Do you have like a um, smiley face on my knee? Cat. That's it's, oh wow I'm loving that honestly very cute we can get that matching love that I'll, I'll match with you do you like guys with clothing brands I have a, I have a clothing um, brand why are you yes. setting up your drip friend me out, drip me out um, <laughs> so dumb he keeps talking about Johnny <laughs> no I'm not I'm talking about me um, I think you I'm bad I'd be bad at this if we did I think it's tough because you got to carry on the conversation you're so in your head about it I, I, actually, I already tapped out I give up I would, I'm too nervous <laughs> I would have just walked away. No disrespect. I would just can't handle it. Isn't too embarrassing. He did that to Lana. Lana said that she oh, masturbates man. to him. Lana Rhodes. Of course. And he had that. a panic attack and walked oh off. Oh my god. The, so I've been actually trying to fuck Lana Rhodes. Oh yeah. And I've been texting her. We've been like back and forth. I'll be like, "What are you doing tonight?" And she'll be like, "You." Like I'm coming over. And I'll be like, "Okay, let, like let's do it, whatever." And the other night we were supposed to hang out. 
And she was like, I'm with this guy, like, um, and like my friend, and I was at Dave and Buster's, and they were like, let's come, like whatever. And I was like, who's the guy? And she said this guy's name. And like, let's say his name was like Frank, right? And I was like, as long as it's not Frank, da da da, like I hate his guts. I literally hope he dies. It's the worst person ever, like blah, 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 blah. And she sends me back a snap and it is the guy that I hate. And he's like, he's like very famous and I hate this man's guts. And then she sent it to him and it was so awkward for me. Like now I, it started new beef. It, and I would say it if I could because I hate him and I hope the whole world can find out. But I don't want to air her out for being on a date. With okay, fair enough. Um, so his name's not Frank. Yeah, but so basically my, yeah, no, my mortal enemy cock blocked me with Lana Rhodes recently and I was really sad. But I, I, she's open to new things. She, like, I'm sure she'll go for through a new sure. phase next week and dye her hair a different color and she'll be a whole I new agree. person. I agree, I agree. I just think that it's like, if it was any other man, I would have been down. Like, let's hang out, see what happens, you know, whatever. Yeah. I've never had a threesome. That could have been my first threesome. If You've never had a threesome? Uh-uh. Not even with... Only like foursomes. A, a girl and a guy. Oh, yeah, for real? So you do <laughs> just swinger by, stuff? Just by chance. By chance. I don't do swinger stuff. I'm not out here having foursomes. I just mean in life I've had. I've never had a threesome. Only foursomes. My friend recently found out about their swinger like clubs in LA. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. They're real, they're, and their sex parties. Crazy. Yeah. I just found out about this recently. What? And he's addicted to them now, and he's been going. This porn star came on my podcast, and she was telling me about these sex parties in LA, and it's like all billionaires, and like girls go and they like strap them to the wall, and people like spank what? them, and all these couples are fucking in front of everyone and shit. What? Why don't it's we crazy. hear about these things? Uh, no, she invited me to one. I've just been scared. Should we go? I'm scared. Should I'm we scared. just go and like? I don't want to fuck. You can tuck your dick. Like, so even if you get a boner, I won't even know. Tuck your. Oh, okay. <laughs> So you leave clothes on? You, I mean, you can. It's up to you. Have I ever tucked you know my what tucking is? Tuck where you tuck it between your legs? <laughs> like show a mangina? Up, show, show up how to yeah. do it, Steven. Like, no. Or like no. duct tape? He doesn't want to... I don't think anyone can, should show us that. Back to the blind date thing. I didn't mean to backtrack. If I did this on the date, would it be hot? Yeah, I would just like come right there. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to do a right trick there. or something. See? Like, you it's, blow not, no. it's not dumb, Jeff. I'd be like, guys, no, that's the hardest. fucking dumbest See? shit I've ever seen in my she life. She thought it was hot. She was being sarcastic. Do we have any callers? Because we submitted for Tana, but we deleted it immediately after because we didn't think you were going to show up. So <laughs> we uh, we didn't want to give. People... I know all my mentions were like responses, and then this tweet has been deleted. I was like, damn, Jeff. I thought you were mad at me today. No, yeah. I, I, I never get mad. Honestly, even when we talked about doing a collaboration in the past, like a collaborative uh, show. I really want to do it. Yeah, like but there's no pressure. But we I love like us want together. It. A lot of people will come up to me and they're like, what's going on with you and Tana? When are Which you guys is gonna weird because I feel like with you and me, videos together. people hate like me with a lot of people. People hate you with certain people. Like for people to really like like us together, I like to hold on to that. I think it's a good, there's a lot to build there. I would love that. Yeah, we're good together. Our barbershop episode was my favorite in the past, probably 10 episodes or something i want to do another i hate that you don't have a color is he live yo magic mike <laughs> oh shit <laughs> what's hi, going mike. on it's good to have you on the show i like that yellow hat hi mike have you ever cheated on someone i'm sorry what have you ever cheated on someone be uh, honest my wife's right here so <laughs> before that before he, that. he didn't even say yes or no he said my wife's right here so nah. people look away when they're lying oh. and you looked away how long have you been married for like five four years five how old are you <sighs> 29. You oh, look 28. great. You look Sorry. great. You look great. Hey, you don't wow. look that. Hey, man. Thanks, bro. What's your routine? You drink a lot of water? Eat healthy? Um, Actually, I did change up my diet a lot. Um, I stopped drinking. You inspired me to stop drinking. Proud of I you. just drink a lot of water. Um, I try to run a lot more. Wait, I love that. We've been on a health and wellness. And how'd you quit? As, as she opens the champagne. How'd you quit? What'd you, what'd you do? Did you go cold turkey? Did you swap it out for LaCroix like me? You know, because these babies, it's like having a nice cold one. Like I'm having a beer with my boys. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, for me, it's like I never really had a problem with drinking, drinking. I just would like once I did end up drinking, just drink a few and then um, eat bad right after. So, yeah. like, you know, That's it wasn't so like I really relied on it. I cared more about weed. So it was just easier to smoke weed and then lay so you, off of that shit. OK, so you're still smoking weed. I feel yeah, like, I Jeff, I feel like, like you look at weed as like. That's fine. No, I smoke weed. No, I know. I just kind of feel like you look at weed as more of a drug than the average person. Like the way you talk about it. No, I use weed wrong? to quit drinking. I really? swapped That's it out. Right. I need some right. I need some sort of escape, you know? I got yeah. fucking demons and I I can't just hey. have them just yapping away all day in my head. Hey, that's that, that's 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 how I do it, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. That's the Jeff FM way. That's the method. And we smoke a little hey. bit with a little that's devil's right. lettuce. Put a little bit of that white stuff on it you know give it a little kick no i'm oh kidding, my oh, kidding. God. oh this thing's gonna fucking we blow we kicked it along 
Oh, <laughs> it's a celebration. We're starting business together right away. Hey, that's what's up. All right, Jeff, we got to get you to the fucking Met Gala, bro. That was me who asked that question. <laughs> Did you ask? That was a good no, question. No, Jeff yeah. at the Met Gala hey. would hit. We should go to well, the Met Gala. We should crash the Met Gala. Like he Brittany's asked wedding. me, he was like, we, uh, what was the question? It was a good question. I asked if I could be your stylist and if we could get you to the Met Gala. Yeah, and I said something which is such a bitch-ass answer. I was like, no, I'd rather just stay here and do my barbershop videos and shoot the podcast with the boys, which is that's such a, a lie. Guy. That's a, that's just <laughs> like me. Blatantly, like, yeah. barbershop Met Gala. If I got the invite, I would fucking be there in a full chrome tuxedo or something. <laughs> Honestly, we need, a, we need to crash it like Britney's wedding. No, we need to get invited. We can't be crashing I'm shit like, forever. You know, Damn, I thought like, you were toxic. About, you know, let's just throw a dead animal on him, you know, like crack skin. Buttercream, buttercream crack skin, you know? Yeah, somebody What's tries that? somebody tries to throw animal blood on me like they did to Kim Kardashian. Oh, I just dodged That's it like real? John Wick. Someone really tr like tried to do that to Kim K? They did it a bunch of times. Yeah, those the people. Like the pedo that, people? The pedo people, yeah, they'll throw, throw blood. Animal. Or red paint. They also threw a uh, baby powder on her. Yeah. That's crazy. That'll I happen. Know that. What that do you do crazy. somebody attacks you with red paint? Smile and wave. Right out the scandal. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know what answer. I would that's, do. That's a PR answer right, right there. I kind of think that's cool. That sounds like free press. I also don't wear real fur, so I mean. Okay. I have. Good. I've been styled in it, but I mean, like, I'm. It's not like an active thing that I'm like. Yeah. Buying. Or... So Met Gala, we're going chrome outfits. Yeah. 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 Match the airstream and the products. You know, it's like certain Versace, thing. though. We gotta rock Versace. Spray paint my face. Didn't <laughs> Kanye spray, <laughs> spray paint his face <laughs> once gold for like a Sunday service? I'll go with that. You have that picture hey. of Kanye spray painted Maybe silver? Maybe that's our next business venture, a church. Sunday you want to start a church together? Should we start a church together? Are you, Are you atheist? I believe there's a higher power. So like agnostic? Like you're not sure? Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to put you in a box. I don't know why. I believe that I am connected to... The voice echoes crazy. Everybody, let's take a moment. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> See this? <laughs> Not the sound bowl. It really is a cult here. Whenever I come here, I'm scared I'm never gonna leave. I don't have anything. I'm like, I'm like. Um, oh, there's Kanye. <laughs> that's yeah, so that's, a, that's the type of shit I'm gonna wear. All right, thank you. Mike, we love you. Oh, the, the mullet. mullet's looking nice. Hey. He's clean. Hey. He's sober. He's only smoking I weed. He's got a mullet. He's married. We love you. Married, love you. iconic, sober, healthy, mulleted fashion legend. Yeah. Hey. You're so cute and gorgeous. Wait, 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 Magic Mike. You had yeah. You said on the Discord that you had a proposal for Jeff. Yes, bro. Both big fans of you, bro. You know, and you know what? I said, hey, if you want, you can smash Jeff, you know? So I just want you to know, bro, you, you can smash my girl, bro. No, I, I appreciate it, Magic Mike, but cool, I don't I don't think I would be able to. I have too much respect for it's you. Like respecting. It's like if I got a brand new car and I'm like, bro, you got to ride car my car. Out, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're a sick fuck, Mike. You are a hey, sick fuck. If only you met her, bro. She's a sick fuck. Well, you She's guys, confused. you like, guys make uh, a good pair. I was like, fuck Logan Paul. Jeff Wittick, baby. If you're going to fuck any guy, it's going to be Jeff Wittick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, we got to let you go here because you're, you're getting me in trouble now. You know, <laughs> we love you. Thank Matt, you for the support. The Talk to I you soon. You, All you guys take Bye. care. Damn. He was so sweet. You Until sweet he asked man. me to have sex with his wife. And Logan Paul? No, he said, no, you not can't Logan fuck Logan Paul. Paul. You can only fuck Jeff. And I, I mean, I, I'm not into that stuff. You, you're really not into that in your whole life. You think like by the time you no, die, if someone asked I, you to fuck their wife, you wouldn't What if they it. paid you, Jeff? I don't know. I'm not a prostitute, Kyle. What the fuck does this look like? This episode's very sexual. We've been talking about a lot of sex. I know. I hope my mom skips this one. Have you ever... The last time I had sex, this man came in like two minutes. And good I for hate, you. That's good for you. I... Okay. But I mean like... And I hate to say this. I hate to say that I get the ick from it because it's like a natural thing. But I just feel like it's like... Don't you feel like... Obviously, yes, you can just like come fast. But you could like pull out, chill for a second. Like go slow. Like it's almost animalistic and childish yeah. to come fast disrespectful almost when's the last time you came fast and why i don't <laughs> <laughs> but what if you can't help it like what it, like but don't what if it's am i wrong can can you just help it yeah, yeah you could help it can you hold your breath for two minutes no i can't hold my breath for 10 seconds you see me smoking no smoke see i'm a sick fuck i could picture nerf dying or getting hit by a car or something <laughs> and then immediately <laughs> do you do that that's 
emergency like oh this is getting too much and like i'm locked in i used to do that to my ex like if i was like riding his dick and he was gonna come i'd be like think about your grandma oh my <laughs> god imagine tana That's on top it. of you <laughs> with, a, with a vape in her mouth think about your grandma <laughs> <laughs> <That's it. laughs> <laughs> I can put the vape oh, down. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Why am I the most offended? I'm, I'm entirely the most offended and about the vape part. I'm like, I would put the vape down. <laughs> I'm sick. What about when you have sex sometimes? Like that situation. Now he, say he didn't finish right away. And it took him maybe 10 minutes. But you didn't get to get any, anything out of it. I feel like 10 minutes is still in the finishing right away category, right? But say give you a little what? more time. I'm trying to. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Two minutes. Dude, you can't even oh run for God. ten minutes. Yeah, you got to give a little more than ten minutes, especially if it's the first time. If you guys been dating for years and you know you're yeah. fucking watching Stranger Things and you want to get back to watching it, you know, then that's that's, fine. that's chill. Acceptable. Yeah, no, it's if right away if you just like came fast and I didn't come and it just like sucked. I'm I'm probably never gonna fuck you again. You know. Yeah. So you want to get something out of it every time? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Maybe no. Some sense. if I'm dating you, if it anything, it's sense. opposite. If I'm dating and you really want to, have Steven, it's not rocket it. science. It's like, <laughs> this oh. this fucking set you back, huh? Yeah. This conversation. Well, that's what this podcast is about: learning. You know, Gross. We got a fifty-fifty audience. It's girls and guys. Do you really? It's fi- it's very rare to have fifty-fifty. Yeah, that, that is so rare. Yeah, it's odd. That's crazy. That's awesome. So, Good for you. That's why oh. you get all the <laughs> Oh, my Bro, God. Bro, it's, it's pouring. So it's really the hair. hair and the champagne together. It's oh, not the barbershop. This God. is the clean show. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to explode. Why did you do that? Bro, how many times have you fucked up today? <laughs> oh, that was I'm, disgusting. I'm like, I do that all the time. Your dick's exploding Whoa. in seconds. You got champagne bottles exploding. <laughs> it's a you party. Are just, you were just a fucking volcano over there, Steven. I'm sorry. Yeah, well... I think it's. I think we talked about a lot, and this podcast was really fun. I love that. All right, well, <laughs> like, all I love right, you, we'll Tana. Can you finish your, the scratch off there so we could give a? We got to tie the whole episode okay, let me together. Get, like a credit card. I'm getting carpal tunnel. Over Tana, here. you're the only one who makes a, a a big deal, throws a fit about possibly winning thirty million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much work for me. I'm bad at simple tasks. I am a lazy piece of shit. I will say. You that. want me to have one of my? One like of my I need boys an Adderall. No, that is a lot of work. No. It is a lot of work. I could have one of my boys do it. No, I'm committed, Jeff. That's definitely a winner, and she's gonna throw it away. Cause she Daddy, just can you do that? Oh Look at this. Like, but be asshole. real about it. Let's see. Well, unfortunately, Tana. <laughs> well, there's a matching 32 to the matching top 32, but then the prize under 32 says ticket. Which what does that mean? Oh, you want a free oh. ticket. To what? It's another ticket, right? <laughs> oh, like another lottery ticket? Yeah. yeah so you wanna you go down to the gas station, you cash it in, and you get another ticket. Look at that. Everybody's a winner here today. What a great episode of Jeff FM. Let's wrap it up nice. Yeah, I mean, I think you should take that. You should do it. I'll take like a foot pick and just get whatever I would have made off the second one, right? Yeah.